morning, ladies. They always come looking for Dolly's leftovers for milking. It's just off Alpha and black oil sunflower seeds. distracted so they don't try to come into the hay room with me. It's pretty amazing to me because I just milked out about three gallons of milk from Dolly and Brownie's so going at it. Plenty of milk for him. You know when they say don't cry over spilled milk? Well, I don't know if whoever made that up had never had a cow, but it didn't mean whenever you spill the glass at a table. It means whenever you spend an hour milking your cow and then she kicks the bucket over and then sticks her foot in the bucket and you lose not only a gallon of milk all over the milk stanchion but all the milk that was left in the bucket. So I continued to milk her out anyway and I got um, another gallon or so. So I think I got around three gallons this morning. How did I know you were going to be in here, Miss Maxie girl? Getting a treat. So see, I have about two gallons in this bucket. And you couldn't pay me to pour it out. Because we have so many animals that will drink this milk. Even with a little bit of poop and hay in it. So, let's go give the pigs a treat. Hey, Miss Rosie and Mr. Duke. Looks like you were bedded down nice and warm last night. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, they love that milk. I saved a little for the chickens. <laughs> oh my goodness let her have some here I'll give you some over here come here Rosie <laughs> he has no desire to share that milk with her but she got some and I poured her out a little bit more just a second ago okay let's go give some to the chickens so even though my family doesn't get to enjoy that milk right now, we get to enjoy knowing that at least it just didn't get poured out. Our pigs and our chickens and our ducks and our goose all benefit from our milk cow. And that is one of the reasons we have a milk cow. Brownie is still nursing. How do you make so much milk, you amazing cow mama? Cows are incredible. They take grass and they basically can feed your whole farm off of grass. It's kind of like a miracle. Good morning, silkies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Donald. Come here. 
had to find a bowl that wasn't frozen. Here you go. Once all the chickens over here discover this, this will be gone in a matter of minutes. I've seen it happen. As you can see, our, flocks, our flock is kind of mixed up. We still have some chickens and ducks up the hill, but Donald kind of chooses where he wants to be. And I guess he wants to be down here right now. If you hear Dolly mooing over and over, it's because she's thirsty. She's always very impatient on these mornings. We put fresh water in with her at night, but it freezes by the morning. So she's very impatient. Because you're not really hungry, huh? You just had a bunch to eat. Arthur hauls the water because it's just too much for me at this point. But I think there's a little bit in here that didn't freeze. Oh, maybe not. Ugh. Nope. Let me see if I can bust that ice out, Dolly. You guys know what it's like if you've ever nursed a baby. How thirsty you get. Thankfully, it's going to be 50 degrees and sunny today and basically keep those temperatures for the next week or so. One thing I like to do when she's drinking all the bucket is just do this because otherwise she knocks the bucket over. I bet you guys are wondering if our goats are pregnant. We're wondering the same thing. We'll probably do a pregnancy test today. If we can get down here and get it done, we'll do a pregnancy test on all of them. You shouldn't be pregnant, but it's a possibility. A couple of times she was with the buck when she wasn't supposed to be. She could just go through the fence right there, but she prefers to do this. <laughs> Wipe them on your shirt so they don't get wet. On your shirt. No, don't lick it. Who knows what's pooped right there. My dear heart has come to join me. She knows I like to just sit out here with the animals after I'm done with chores. I just like to sit here and watch them. Just get a good look at them. You want to sled once or twice down the hill? Yeah, but you're not wearing any socks, girl. Yeah, let's go sled down the hill. Hi, Brownie. Isn't he cute? Yep. It's funny that he started to do the hay already. I know, isn't that sweet? Are we going to go together or separate? Separate? I don't know if I can do it without gloves. Let's <laughs> see with my gloves. All right, I'm going to let you go first. Ready? I'll push you. Kind of wait for me. It's not working. Let's try this one. Woohoo! You gotta direct us because I don't have any gloves on. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, I gotta stop before we hit the fence. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Morning, Boom Beam. Sweet girl. Everyone wants petting. Except for a brownie, of course. <laughs> I have to say, 
That was another great morning on the homestead. It was a great way to end morning chores, except that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make myself a nice hot cup of tea with some fresh cream from yesterday's milk. Not today's, obviously. Uh -huh.